Hello tankers! In today's episode of the vlog, we'll tell you about upcoming changes to TO and the process of making sounds for the new tanky. We'll also help you become even better players, thanks to another bunch of tips from an experienced tanker. Let's go! Guys, in the past two weeks, we've received quite a lot of complaints about lags in Tanky. We are aware of this issue and we are doing our best to solve it as soon as possible. Last week, we released not one, but several updates aimed at fixing the situation. Just a little more time and all will get back to normal. Thank you for your patience and support. Now, something exciting for those of you who for some reason play tanky less than they would like to and can't keep up with friends or simply want more from the game. In the upcoming weeks, we'll be releasing a feature that's been speculated on since the very birth of tanky – premium account. Intrigued? Then let's get all the info right now. The upcoming update is aimed mainly at those who want to rank up and get access to new equipment faster, or are simply looking to get something new from Tanky, whether it's unique content or the ability to stand out. With a premium account, these tankers will be getting a whole list of advantages. First of all, tankers with a premium account will be receiving 50% more experience points and crystals in every battle. Secondly, unique content. While the account is active, a player will have a special paint with 20% protections against mines and all turrets. Additionally, he will be able to buy kits that include XT items in the garage. A premium tanker will be easy to distinguish in battles, as well as in chats and forums, thanks to a special rank icon. For those who would rather stay under the radar, there will be the option to change back to the standard rank icon in settings. On top of all that, players with premium accounts will also have access to Pro Battle Pass features. This means they'll be able to create Pro Battles with custom settings as well as participate in them. Premium accounts will be purchased in the game's payment section, just like crystals, but on a different screen. There will be two options available – a subscription for one month or for three months. Premium account days will also be awarded as a bonus for purchasing crystal packs. Work on the premium account is close to being concluded. The feature will be added to Tanky in the following weeks. And to give players the opportunity to check it out, upon launching the update, we'll be giving one day of premium for free to all tankers in the game. Stay tuned! With each episode of the vlog, we give you more and more info on the upcoming Tanky on Unity. Today's story will be about the game's sounds, so let's watch it and listen, of course. Sound an essential component of any computer game. Unfortunately, it is often neglected by developers, ending up in the shadow of graphics, which is not right, of course. The roar of the engine, the crackle of tracks on tarmac, the boom of the turret – all of this is as important as detailed models and advanced lighting. We totally understand that, which is why we're paying so much attention to the sounds in the new Tanky. We want to find a balance between novelty and familiarity. On the one hand, it's an all-new game, on the other, it's Theo's successor, so everything needs to sound recognizable. In other words, an experienced Tanky should be able to understand what's happening in the game with his eyes closed. This also means you'll easily be able to understand what's firing at you. Each turret will have a sound that is easy to recognize, but also a lot more detailed and complex than before. 
we are paying special attention to engine sounds. In the current tanky, these consist of three elements – idling, acceleration and full speed. In the new game, the engine sound will closely reflect the tank speed, as well as the activation of speed boost. And yeah, light, medium and heavy hulls will finally have different sounds. It will be impossible to mix up Wasp and Hunter or Hunter and Mammoth. Of course, there will be entirely new sounds as well. From major things like tank collisions to turret and hull transformation during supplies activation. There are also very subtle sounds. For instance, when you plant a mine, it will sound different depending on the surface it falls on. The work is still in progress, but the new game has already 10 times the sounds of the current one. This is an all new level, so those of you who are used to playing tanky with sound muted should go and get some decent headphones. They will surely come in handy. Time for pros advice. Today's guest, Tanky Let's Player Beric, will give us some useful tips on playing with Firebird. Привет всем, hey с вами guys, Beric. this is Beric. Today we'll talk about playing with Firebird. Let's go! The first point is Firebird's most obvious advantage – high damage. This consists of two components – direct damage and burning damage. The first one is easy to understand because it's constant, but the burning damage is more tricky because it increases over time. For example, a fully micro-upgraded Firebird M3 reaches its maximum burning damage of 30 health points per second after 2.5 seconds of firing, so you don't need to keep attacking the enemy till he's dead. If he's already heated up, you can drive away once he has about 50 health points left. He'll burn down anyway, and you'll save time and precious energy for your turret. Firebird is an excellent opponent against Vulcan and its self-damage. When attacking a machine gun that is already heating up, you're forcing him into a tricky choice – to continue shooting and receive more damage, or cease fire and hope to survive. Very often the enemy picks the second option. The next tip is a tactical one, useful in team battles, especially no supply ones. Your task is to enter the enemy base in the first wave of attack and damage as many enemies as possible. They will receive direct damage and will start losing health thanks to the burning effect. Within several seconds your teammates will arrive, finish off the damaged enemies and steal the flag. When playing with Firebird, keep in mind your two main enemies – repair kits and paints with high Firebird protection. For example, Zeus eats up half of Firebird's damage and decreases the heating up speed by 50%, so the turret loses most of its potential. As for repair kits, if you see that the enemy has just used one, do not try to attack, save your energy. The supply overcomes Firebird's standard damage and fully neutralizes the burning effect. And finally, to get really good at playing Firebird, spend some time reading the TO wiki. Memorize the speed at which your turret deals damage, as well as the health pools of various hulls. Your goal is to spend energy wisely and make the best out of your Firebird. That's all, guys! Roast your enemies, it's fun! Good luck! Now it's time for some epic footage! Let's check out the best clip sent to us since last Friday! The topic for this week is mines. Draw something with mines on Stadium, 
destroy somebody in a spectacular way. The only limit is your imagination. Just make sure the video has mines in it. Good luck! That's all for this episode, tankers! Follow us on social media and hit the like button if you are looking forward to ratings and achievements. They are close. See you next Friday!